implementing a national policy to restrict unhealthy food marketing to youth is one proposed solution. We spoke to individuals who would be affected by such a policy change and their accounts indicate high prospects for the policy moving forward. Here is what they have to say. The Conservative Party of Canada has a vested interest in the healthy eating habits of Canadians and we are especially concerned with the eating habits of our nation's youth. Currently, there are no federal laws in place about advertising of unhealthy foods to children. This needs to change. If a viable bill was drafted by a member of our party, it would pass with relative ease because we have a majority government. Furthermore, we do not require provincial approval for legislation related to commerce. Hence, we are in a good position to pass a bill of this nature. A bill of similar nature was passed in Quebec in 1978 known as the Consumer Protection Act. This banned advertisements to children under the age of 13. It was found that because of this, there was a household reduction in fast food intake by about 13%. Because this works so well on the provincial level, we feel that a law of similar nature would work very well at a federal level. On a similar note, the policy would create a change that is nearly invisible to most consumers, as ads that are removed because of the ban would quickly be replaced by others. And lastly, we would think that this would require an increase in administrative capacity by our government to ensure compliance, and would also require increased responsibility by the Advertising Standard Canada. However, we feel that this change would be largely minimal, because most companies would try to ensure self-regulation to avoid heavy fines and lawsuits. A high number of Canadian youth are obese. The McMaster Health Forum supports action to combat the negative effects of food advertising by restricting companies that attempt to lure youth into making unhealthy choices. This decision is fully backed by our stakeholders and by research evidence which shows that the policy would not only have health but also economic benefits for Canada at large. On behalf of the Canadian Children's Food and Beverage Advertising Initiative, which includes companies such as Coca-Cola and Kellogg's, we are in support of the policy. We strive to create strict self-regulatory guidelines to advertise our products in appropriate ways that ensure the delivery of accurate information to our consumers. The given legislation will affect us with very minimal costs. On the other hand, there will be direct costs for other advertisers who will be forced to cut down their propaganda, propaganda to children who are a major sector of the buyer's market. However, sustaining the current level of advertising for these companies would still be possible under the new guidelines. For example, companies can put their more nutritional products on the forefront of their ads. Our organization has advocated for policies to reduce obesity for years now, so it's really great to see that the Canadian government is serious about finally implementing a policy to restrict unhealthy food advertising. Almost 26% of our children and adolescents are either overweight or obese, so it's really important that we try and stop this otherwise growing epidemic. Together with the government and other leading health organizations, not only has the Heart and Stroke Foundation developed an initiative for obesity research, we have also developed an action plan on obesity that includes a strong advocacy role for effective, health-conscious public policies such as this one. We will continue to lobby for this cause and hope to help out in any way we can. Parents like us have our hands tied between forcing our children to make healthy choices and allowing them junk food on nights like movie nights. At home, we're constantly trying to instill in our kids healthy eating habits, but when Danny goes to school, he's surrounded by so many unhealthy alternatives that it's often hard for him to make the right choice. What are parents supposed to do about their children being exposed to unhealthy environments they have no control over? In a recent Mass Opinion poll, 92% of Canadians back the banning of marketing of unhealthy foods aimed at children. And I know I speak for the majority of parents in a similar position as me when I say unhealthy food marketing towards children should and must be banned. A considerable amount of evidence exists in support of the proposed policy. For example, a recent report by the World Health Organization suggests that marketing strongly influences children's consumption patterns and that food and beverage advertising on television specifically is associated with childhood obesity. Other studies have demonstrated that the self-regulated marketing done by certain food companies, which is meant to protect children, is in fact insufficient. Given this wealth of evidence, there is a clear case for implementing a nationwide ban of child-targeted advertising.